It's nice and sunny outside. Mommy is putting lots of goodies into a basket to go on a picnic with Moosty. Moosty! I'm ready! Me too, Mommy! I'm coming! Then let's get going! Yippee! I'll carry the basket to the forest! Wait a minute! Where are you going? We're going to the forest for a picnic, Moosty says. Would you like to come? There's plenty of food in the basket. Food? Of course I'll come, Mr. Rabbit shouts. This looks like a very good spot for a picnic, Mommy says. It's a really fun place too, because look, there are blueberries on that bush. Mmm, yummy! I'll go and pick a few right now. Are you coming, Mr. Rabbit? Sure. Let's go, Moosty. We'll go together. The berries look delicious. Hey, Moosty. I don't really like blueberries that much. I'll go take a look around. Maybe I'll find something else. Something I do like. Okay, says Moosty. But don't go too far or you won't hear Mommy calling. I'll stay nearby, Mr. Rabbit says. Meanwhile, Moosty has almost filled his cup with blueberries. All right, I'll give these to my mommy. That's very sweet of you, mommy says. I'll eat these later. Where's Mr. Rabbit? The picnic is ready. Mr. Rabbit, come and have some food, Moosty calls. That should make him hurry up. Look! No, Mr. Rabbit! You have to wait until we're here, too! <gasps> you really scared Mr. Rabbit! Mommy smiles. I'm sure he'll be back in a minute. Moosty and Mommy don't have to wait long. Hey, I'm back, everyone! Mr. Rabbit shouts. And I'm really hungry! I bet you are! Mommy says. You didn't take the time to finish your carrot. What carrot? I haven't eaten anything yet. He's telling the truth! I ate some of the carrot. So don't be upset with Mr. Rabbit. You should be upset with me. We're not upset at all, Mommy says. I know you! You're Nibble! You play with my nephews sometimes! Then you're welcome to join us for our picnic. Yeah! Moosty smiles. There are plenty of carrots! A little while <laughs> later, all four of them are enjoying their picnic together. <laughs> it's bedtime. But Moosty's still awake. He's looking at a book. It's a book of traffic signs. This arrow means you have to drive straight ahead. And this sign means you have to stop. This letter P shows you where you can park. Aren't you asleep yet, Moosty? Oh, Daddy, I didn't hear you coming in. Daddy, I know all the traffic signs. That's very good. We can practice them tomorrow with your car in the garden. But now it's time to go to sleep. Good night. Good night, Daddy. The next day, Daddy set up traffic signs all around the garden. Moosty's going to practice driving his little car. 
Here, Moosty can go straight ahead. And now he has to turn right. But here, Moosty can't go any farther. I can't drive this way. I'll have to reverse out. Oops! I think I hit something. It's Miss Tortoise. Oh no, Miss Tortoise. I didn't see you. Did I hurt you? No, Moosty. Luckily, I've got a thick shell. Look at that. What a nice car you have. Can you take me for a ride, please? Of course I can. Are you comfortable? Yes, thank you. Let's go, Moosty. All right, Miss Tortoise. Here we go. <laughs> wow, this drives so quickly. I must be the fastest tortoise in the world. Moosty, let's drive to Mr. Rabbit's burrow. He'll be so surprised. Oh, we're already here. That was fast. I wonder if Mr. Rabbit's home. I don't know. I'll beat my horn. Who's there? Oh, Moosty. Wow, cool. What a great car. <laughs> Can I go for a ride too? Of course. Hop into the back with Miss Tortoise. Uh, 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 oh, Hello, Miss Tortoise. Are you having a good time? Oh, yes. And now I'm the fastest tortoise in the whole wide world. Pedestrians have the right of way, you know, exclaims Miss Hedgehog. Do you want to come for a ride too, Miss Hedgehog? We're going to the farm. Oh, yes, I'd love to. Can I, Moosty? Of course. Don't worry, I'll find room for you. Miss Hedgehog holds on tightly. Everyone enjoys the ride. Soon they arrive at the farm. Hello, Moosty. What a lovely car. Can we go for a ride, too? Sure, but not right now, Mother Hen. My car is already full. Hey, Moosey. Can I go for a ride, too, sometime? Shouts Mr. Dog. And from a little farther, Mr. Cockerel crows. <laughs> me, too, Moosey. And what about me, Moosey? All of you? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't have any room right now. But I'll come back tomorrow, and then I'll take each of you for a ride. I promise. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Moosey. A beautiful dolphin is swimming in one of the pools at the aquarium. The dolphin show has just begun. Moosey is sitting in the front row with his friends Laura and Sam. They can hardly believe their eyes. The trainer holds a big hoop above the water and shouts, Come on, Dolly, jump through the hoop. And then the dolphin leaps out of the water and jumps through the hoop gracefully. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Shouts the audience as they clap their hands. For our next trick, I'll need a boy or girl from the audience to help me. Who would like to come up here? Any volunteers? Go on, Moosty. I just know you can do it. Me! Pick me, sir! Then come over here, young man. A round of applause, please, for this brave young man. What's your name, young fellow? My name's Moosty, sir. I'm Alfred. Come on, Dolly. Say hello to Moosty. Hello, Dolly. I'm Moosty. Hello, Moosty. Would you like to do some tricks? Sure, that would be great. Look at this, Moosty. There's a fish hanging at the end of this long stick. 
I want you to hold it above the water and shout, Jump, Dolly! Jump, Dolly! Jump! Well done, Moosty! Good job, Dolly! Now give Dolly this tasty reward, Moosty. Here, Dolly. Here's a tasty fish for you. Thank you, Moosty. Let's do another trick. Okay. Moosty, do you like to play ball? Yes, sir, very much. Here, catch. Dolly likes to play ball, too. Throw the ball into the water and shout, Dolly, ball! Dolly, ball! Dolly, ball! Catch it, Moosty! Uh. Oh! I won! Yes, she did! Dolly just loves to play ball! Here, Moosty! Put on this swimming vest. Ladies and gentlemen, my wonderful assistant Moosty is now going to take a trip on the Dolly boat. Are you ready, Moosty? Uh -huh. Then follow me. This is the Dolly boat. Would you like to get in, Moosty? Uh, okay, sir. Then in you go. Come on, Dolly. Push the boat. And Dolly pushes the little boat forward. Don't be scared, Moosty. I'll push very gently. I'm not scared, Dolly. Not with you. You're the nicest dolphin in the whole world. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please, for Moosty and Dolly. Next time, I'm going to raise my hand, says Sam. And then I'll go, too, says Laura. Moosty is very happy. He's never made such an amazing new friend as Dolly the Dolphin. Look over there! What a big boat! I think it's a freighter. A cargo ship. Do you want to go take a look, Moosty? How will we get there? I'll rent a boat. Are you coming too, dear? No, I'll stay here. You two go ahead. But be careful. Daddy has rented a motorboat. Moosty and Daddy are both wearing orange swimming vests. Moosty is sitting in front of the boat. He's the captain. Look, Daddy, there's Mommy. Can we shout hello? Okay, Captain Moosty. Ahoy, Mommy! Bye-bye, sailors. Be careful. Moosty and Daddy set off towards the cargo ship. The enormous cargo ship makes Moosty's little boat look very small. Moosty is greatly impressed. Look at how big it is, Daddy! It's the biggest boat I've ever seen! Ahoy, Captain! Ahoy, sir! Ahoy, sailor! Come on, Moosty. It's time to go back to Mommy. Oh, hey, what's happening? The motor just stopped running. Oh, no! Can you start it again, Daddy? No, it won't work. What now? Ahoy, Captain Moosty! Are you out fishing? Hey, Coco, is that you? We've got a problem. 
the motor won't start, and now we can't get back to the beach. So, you've got engine trouble? Don't worry, Moosey. I'll go get help. I'll be back soon. Ah! I'm afraid it won't start, Moosey. We'll just have to wait until Coco gets back. Oh! Look, Daddy! Ahoy, Captain! Are you Moosey? I'm Skipper. Coco said you were having engine trouble. Yeah, the motor won't start. We can't get back to the beach. Mommy is going to be worried. No problem. I'll bring you back. Do you have a life preserver on board? Is this one? Yep, that's it. Throw the ring in the water. And hold on tight to the rope. Skipper starts to tow Moosey and Daddy's boat. Ah! Is it working, Moosey? Yeah, it's working really well. Thanks for your help, Coco. My pleasure, but you should be thanking Skipper. Ah! Thank you, Skipper, shouts Moosey. You're a very kind and very strong dolphin. And Daddy says, You have great friends, Moosey. When we get back, I'll give them a big reward. Make mine a bucket of fresh fish, please. And for me, some crunchy peanuts. Ah! And they'll both get exactly what they want. Right, Daddy? Definitely, Captain Moosty. Accompanied by Skipper and Coco, Moosty and Daddy sail back to the beach. It's been snowing all night. Outside, everything is white, beautifully white. Moosty gazes out the window, and with a big smile on his face, he yells, Snow at last! Moosty wants to go outside right away. Mommy, can I build a big snowman in the garden? Of course you can, but make sure you bundle up nice and warm, and don't forget your hat and scarf. Wrapped up nice and warm, Moosty goes outside. He starts his snowman by making a little snowball. And this snowball gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Bleep, bleep. Hey, Moosty. Hey, are you playing in the snow too? Bleep, bleep. You think the snow is nothing but fun shivers the little bird. But for us birds, and so many animals, the snow makes it very hard for us to find food. Yeah, I know, says Moosty. I'll put out some breadcrumbs later. That's very kind of you, Moosty. But first you have to rescue a friend from the snow. Rescue a friend? asks Moosty. But how? Just follow me. Moosty forgets all about his snowman and hurries after the little bird. Hurry! shouts the bird. Look! Over here! Moosty is in terrible shock. That's one of Mr. Rabbit's paws. I'll get you out! He shouts. Is he okay? We have to warm him up right away, says Moosty, shivering. And he walks off holding Mr. Rabbit tightly. Where are you going, Moosty? I'm taking him to the farm. At the farm, Mother Hen is the first to see Moosty and Mr. Rabbit. Go straight to the cow shed to Miss Cow. I know she'll be able to help you. This doesn't look too good. Tell me what happened. I found Mr. Rabbit in the snow. He's really cold and he's not moving. I'm so worried. Lay him down in the straw. I know what to do. 
Miss Cow blows her warm breath all over Mr. Rabbit. At first, nothing happens. Moosty, the little bird, and Mother Hen watch anxiously. Until suddenly, Mr. Rabbit opens one eye. And then the other eye. Phew! <gasps> Everyone breathes a sigh of relief. Where am I? asks Mr. Rabbit. I was trying to find my burrow in the snow. You're at the farm right now, says Moosty. Your burrow must be covered with snow, says Miss Cow. You can stay here with us for a few days. It's nice and warm, and there's plenty of food. Also for rabbits. Food? Then I'd love to stay for a while, Miss Cow. <laughs> All's well that ends well, says Moosty. And now it's time for me to take care of my friends, the birds. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Moosty. Bye, Moosty. Bye, Moosty. See you later. It's early in the morning. Down at the farm, Boomer the horse is feeling sad. He gazes at the other animals. Oink the pig is enjoying his mud bath. The ducks are having a cozy get-together in the pond. Mother Hen and her chicks are out for their morning walk. And Mr. Cockerel is perched proudly on his mound of straw. Nobody remembered, thinks Boomer sadly. Oh, well, there's Moosty. I'm sure he hasn't forgotten. Hello, Boomer, says Moosty as he gives him a cheerful wave and walks right past him to the mud bath. There he whispers something to Oink. The ducks listen too. Boomer tries his best to hear what they're saying. But no matter how much he tries, he just can't hear them. I have to know what's going on! He thinks and loudly shouts, Moosty! Moosty quickly says something to Mr. Cockerel and then walks over to Boomer. What's up, Boomer? Do you need something? Yes, says Boomer. I want to know what you're saying to everyone. Oh, well, I don't really have time for that right now. Maybe later. Bye. Boomer is very disappointed. He sighs and hangs his head. But wait a minute. Oh? Who's this coming? Happy birthday, Boomer. Moosty smiles. This is for you. So you didn't forget my birthday after all? Nobody forgot your birthday, says Moosty. Just look and listen. And here they all come. First the ducks quack happy birthday to Boomer. And then Mother Hen and her chicks cheerfully cheep their birthday greetings. Oink the pig shouts, Happy birthday! And from the mound of straw comes a loud, uh, 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 uh! Hey there! Wait a minute! Don't forget me! Happy birthday, Boomer! Says Mr. Rabbit. This carrot is for you! Well, Boomer, are you feeling happy? Asks Moosty. Yes, Moosty, very happy, says Boomer. You're all such good friends. Miss Tortoise is also on her way, says Mr. Rabbit. She better hurry up or the party will be over, says Moosty. I'll go and see what's keeping her. Can I help you, Miss Tortoise? We might get there a little bit faster. That would be nice. I'll definitely get to the party on time now. Hello, Miss Tortoise, Boomer says. How nice of you to come. I'm sorry I don't have a present for you, but I can give you this. 
Why don't you all come into my stable? Says Boomer, smiling happily. I'm going to tell you a nice story. And I've got plenty of tasty snacks. As soon as Mr. Rabbit hears the words tasty snacks, he rushes into the stable. Mother Hen and her chicks follow after him. And then the ducks follow. And Miss Tortoise. And Moosty. Because nobody wants to miss one of Boomer's wonderful stories. Moosty isn't feeling well. Yes, Moosty has a bad cold. The doctor has already seen him. And Mommy had to get Moosty some medicine from the pharmacy. These are nose drops. These are throat lozenges. And the little bottle is full of cough medicine. All that sneezing is making Moosty's nose itch. Mommy has left the window open so the warm sun can shine onto Moosty's bed. Moosty would rather be outside playing, but of course, that's not allowed. Look, Mommy has come back. Can I get you anything? She asks. No, thank you, Mommy. Well, you haven't got a temperature. Try and sleep a little. I'll come back and check on you later. And then Moosty is all alone again. But not for long. Yoo-hoo! Hello! It's me! Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Have you come to visit me? Yeah. I'm here to see how you're feeling. That's very nice of you, says Moosty, smiling. And I haven't come alone, says Mr. Rabbit. Miss Tortoise is here, too. But of course, she can't get up to the windowsill. She's waiting downstairs in the garden. Hello, Miss Tortoise, Moosty calls in a hoarse voice. Hello! Get well soon! And then Mr. Rabbit suddenly jumps from the windowsill and hops onto Moosty's bed. So what's wrong with you? He asks. Oh, it's nothing bad. I've only got a cold. <laughs> what's he got? Asks Miss Tortoise concerned. Nothing bad. Only a cold, Mr. Rabbit shouts back. Then he'll be up and about in no time. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, huh? Mr. Rabbit hears something. Moosty, are you awake? Mommy tiptoes quietly into the room. Can't you sleep? She asks. Then I'd better give you a spoonful of cough medicine. Blech. Gross! So maybe you'll get some sleep now. See you later. Sleep well. Did you swallow that nasty cough medicine? Asks Mr. Rabbit. Of course I did. My cough medicine doesn't taste bad, and it will make me get better more quickly. That's good, nods Mr. Rabbit. Then we can all play together again. Anyway, we'd better get going now. Bye, Moosty. Huh? Thanks for coming to see me. Come back food. Hmm. Hmm. So how was he? Asks Miss Tortoise. He says, he says, <laughs> What's the matter with you? I think I've caught a cold, too, moans Mr. Rabbit. I'd better go and rest in my burrow. I'll come with you, says Miss Tortoise. And Moosty? Moosty is already fast asleep in Dreamland. Get well soon, Moosty. It's going to be a white Christmas this year. Moosty is very happy about that. 
but he's also very happy because he's the one who's going to decorate the Christmas tree. Daddy has already put up the Christmas lights. Look, Moosty! You'll find everything you need in these boxes. Mommy and I will be in the kitchen. We're going to get started on the Christmas cookies. But if you need any help, just call us. I'll only call you when I'm finished, chuckles Moosty. And no peeking to see how I'm doing. Moosty can hardly wait to open up all the boxes. What beautiful Christmas tree decorations! I'm going to hang up all the red ornaments first. Wow! It's already looking really pretty, says Moosty, smiling happily. And now, the gold ornaments. And there's still a little room for a couple silver ornaments. It's starting to look like a real Christmas tree. I wonder what's in the other box. Some tinsel will make the tree look even more beautiful. Mommy and Daddy will be so surprised! Now I have to be really careful because this decoration goes right on top of the tree. Hooray! I did it! I decorated the Christmas tree all by myself! Mommy and Daddy will be so proud of me! But first, there's one more thing that I have to do. Moosty rushes up to his room. A little while later, he puts his Christmas presents underneath the tree. You can come and take a look now! It's beautiful, says Mommy. It's a wonderful Christmas tree. Daddy, can you turn on the Christmas lights, please? Yippee! Now it's really Christmas! He shouts. Merry Christmas, Mommy! Merry Christmas, Daddy! Thank you, son! Says Daddy. And this is for you! Says Mommy with a big smile. Merry Christmas! Wow! A toolbox! Wow, thank you so much! Now I can be a real carpenter! I can see you're really good at crafts already, says Mommy. This necklace you made for me is beautiful, thank you! I'm so glad you like it, Mommy! My present is not only beautiful, it's also very useful, says Daddy. Now my pens and pencils will get their own special place on my desk. And together, Mommy, Daddy, and Moosty have a very Merry Christmas.